How to add a appointment booking system with a free app on Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can add a simple little appointment booking uh, application with Shopify. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to log on to your Shopify account. So on your Shopify account, it's a pretty simple setup to create one. All you have to do is input your email and your business name and you're gonna be ready to go. So once you have logged on, or created your Shopify account, what you're going to do is you're going to go into your app section on the left over here. And what you're going to do is you can just click on customize your store and begin finding some apps. Or what you can do is you can click on find products over here and view more apps in this collection. And then you can browse the app marketplace. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the starter pack and we're going to go and browse some more applications. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to search for TI like this. And we are just going to look for our little application. So you're just going to go on to your applications and instead of TI, you're just going to search for TIPO or typo, whatever you might want to call it, cheaper typo. So you can see over here, the first result you're going to get is going to be the typo appointment booking. So you're just going to click on this over here. And once you click on that, you're just going to click on add app. And they have a free plan available. And they also have a seven day free trial of their premium version. And you can just click on this. So now they are going to sync up. Now you can view the details for your Shopify account data, what kind of data you're going to be providing and what you're going to be getting in return. And you're just going to click on install application over here. And now you have a simple little appointment booking scheduler software directly integrated into your Shopify account. So it's so simple and so easy to uh, integrate stuff and make your Shopify experience seamless with the kind of integrations you want. So you can see over here now they're asking me what kind of plan I want. I'm currently on the free plan. I want to continue using the free plan. And now they're going to ask you what kind of product you want to select. So let's say if I select the Teddy. So over here, based on product or based on variant, I can uh, add the capacity and duration. So maybe I want the capacity to be eight and the duration to be like 30 minutes. So I'm gonna change that from hours to minutes like this and then you can have a availability section so you can assign a person that uh, is working for you you can add the employee assigned to this event and then you have a cutoff time that you can add as well and then you have future days where the maximum number of days that people can actually book this event and then you have the buffer time after and buffer time before now once you add that you can set any kind of color over here so you can set any color you want to represent this kind of uh, notification, basically a reminder. And then you have a free service. So you can choose if you want to uh, provide the service for free or not. And then you can add some extra fields. So you can click on create new and extra fields. And then for that, you're going to have to upgrade. But for the standard fields, these are all the ones that are available. And then you can add a description onto your appointment booking. So you can add any kind of description for the service that you are providing. And you're just going to click on save and next. And I'm going to add my employees and then I'm going to click on save and next step. And now my service has been successfully saved. So you can see once your service has been saved, you can choose a team to integrate with the app. So I just want this team and integrate and next step. So just like that, my theme is being integrated onto my Shopify store as well. So especially if you're providing a service on Shopify, using the Tebo appointment booking is so, so, so convenient because let's say you're providing therapy sessions, you can easily schedule those in. People can easily determine what their cost is going to be and it's going to be a lot easier for everyone to navigate through the entire experience once they know like, okay, this is what the cost is going to be this is the timing uh, these are these slots available and it's going to be a simpler process and it's going to be a lot more seamless for you to provide whatever service that you are providing so you can see over here now I can try booking the newly created service. So I have this simple service that I named Teddy and I can just continue and I can book it on whatever date and I have the times as well. This is like as a customer what I'm going to be seeing and then I can click on continue 
I have the total price, which is zero, and I can just click on confirm. And now, just like that, my service has been booked. And you can obviously customize this a lot more. I just did this like at a very simple little uh, baseline kind of sample. You're going to add your own appointment detail. You can add a lot more detail than I just did. Uh, that's totally up to you. But once you've added all your services, so you're just going to click on back to Shopify, and then you're going to be back on your Shopify store whenever you need to go and customize more of your services if you're adding more services you can just click on over here and go back on to your actual appointment booking page and then i've also integrated mailchimp now although tiba appointment booking is great and i do recommend it it's available for free and you can do like most simple appointment bookings via this but if you do want to add a bit more complicated or you want to add extra fields, you want something very specific and very custom tailored, you can click on extra fields over here. And then you can see the extra fields are only available for the premium plan, which starts at $14.90. Currently, it is at a 50% discount. So I would recommend that if you have like, if you're making a lot of money with the services you're providing, that you should maybe try this out because it will be able to give your customers the best experience but still uh, using the free version is more than enough for me personally I wouldn't upgrade but if you feel like you have the need to do that I suggest that you should do it and if you want the extra field set if you want to hide the typo appointment booking branding if you want uh google calendar syncing as well then you can definitely check out their premium version but the free version is more than good enough and for most people i don't think that upgrading on to the tebow appointment booking is going to be necessary now with shopify as well shopify is not available absolutely for free shopify is also another paid application so you can click on select a plan over here and there are three different plans available on shopify so I'm just going to show you guys the basic price ranges of those. So Shopify starts at $29 per month and it goes up to $299 per month with their basic Shopify version starting at $79 per month. So their basic features include uh, unlimited products, online stores, staff accounts. So you can have two staff accounts on your basic version and then you have discount codes, you have gift cards, reports, you have Shopify payments, and then you're going to be giving a larger cut to Shopify on the basic version then the higher up version you sub for it, the lower the cut for Shopify on the direct sales of your transactions will be so other than that you have all of your international commerce basic features as well so I would recommend just use the basic version of Shopify for most businesses small businesses I think basic version is more than enough and if you eventually are making too much money you can choose to upgrade for certain features that you might want like adding more employee accounts like staff accounts if you want to add more of those you might want to upgrade but using the free tivo appointment booking for your service is going to be good enough with the basic version of shopify so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to easily create and sell your services online on shopify with the tivo appointment booking software integration make sure to leave a like if you like this video and if you have any questions make sure to leave them in the comment box down below and i will make sure to answer them as soon as possible and for more content like this subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video